Ha! Ah, didn't see you there. You must be here to learn about the superheroics of Groovy Man, the famous crime fighter who inspired the entire world with his superheroics. Let us look back to the past, to a better time in our history. Faster than a raccoon on heroin, more powerful than a shark on crack, can get higher than a kangaroo on meth. Helper of the poor, defender of the weak, the exploits of Groovy Man! Now let's take a closer look with the original cast and crew to learn never before seen facts about the show. The show started propaganda during the Cold War to make Americans feel good about being Americans and to spread fear in those communist pigs. So how did Groovy Man start life? Well, it definitely was an alien from Kansas. The PR team just made that up. In actuality, it was a failed Nazi experiment during the Second World War in order to make their own Superman. They made a vat of snips and snails and puppy dog tails along with Chemical X. But what they did not intend for was when one of the scientists accidentally spilled Coca-Cola, the most American substance known to man, into that vat and thus Groovy Man was born into the world. You could smell the Nazism around him. So he took care of them swiftly. After that, he helped us win the Second World War. I told him I was interested in making a show about him. He signed the contract and the rest is history. So, you're one of his greatest enemies. Yes, I was. Could you tell us what the villain selection process was like? Well, I was on death row and the television executive came to me and offered a deal. I wanted the villain of the week, and if I survived my encounter with him then I would be released back into society, so I thought I got nothing to lose, right? Boy was I wrong. They sent me out in some bird costume to a park, and I caused a ruckus. Remember kids, don't litter! I wish that I had died that day. Death would have been preferable to living like this. No one ever really knew that everything was for real. They all thought it was just an act with guest stars portraying the villains. But we eventually ran out of death row inmates to kill off, and the advertisers didn't like where the show was heading. Hey kids, today we're going to learn about recycling. Saving the earth is no joke. So today's activity... Groovy Man, are you okay? <laughs> ah! So we ran out of funding and had to cancel the show. This really killed Groovy Man on the inside. So the Kopi started drinking. Bye bye, baby. <laughs> hey Groovy Man! I bet you my lucky dollar coin you will fly straight into the sun! He was never heard from again. I wish I had never told him to do that. He had the world's largest funeral procession at the time, only to then be superseded by Buckwheats back in 83. If you could say anything to him right now, what would you say? He was an incredible man, and an inspiration to all. Well, that's about all the time we have for today, boys and girls. Tune in next week for a documentary on the life and legacy of Airbud. Goodbye.